and see. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I want to invite you guys on this journey 2020 where I want to showcase my work as an artist, as a creator and what I've planned for 2020. Without further ado, let's get it. When I was a boy getting into this world, trying to figure things out on my own, I never thought in my slightest mind that, that I'd be able to become a better version of me. So I had to like motivate myself in order to progress in life and to find this beautiful thing that made me who I am today. So basically, I dropped out of school, didn't know what to do, worked with my uncles here and there, and had to, to learn things the hard way. So, I started getting into a barber shop, practicing my skill, trying to perfect and do it as good as possible, and I just felt the connection with cutting hair, satisfying my clients to the best of my ability. And this was the thing that really motivated me to wake up every morning, go to the shop, clean the shop. And mind you, that wasn't even my own shop. I was going to the shop like it was my own, motivating myself like, how, how am I gonna clean my own shop. So I started with cleaning the shop as my own. So for 2018, 2019, was basically the journey of me really stepping into the business. Barbering was something totally different. Not a lot of people had the understanding of how much you can make a difference and what effect you have to the community and to all these people. Mind you, even the doctors need a haircut, even the lawyers need a haircut, even the CEOs, businessmen, everybody needs a haircut. So, the mindset of our Namibian people or African mindset that as these guys made it look like that it's just this glimpse of having the mind of what the business is about. So for me, I had like a bigger vision and I've seen it more greater than a lot of people have seen it. For me, I was more focused on getting to where I targeted myself instead of focusing on where I am right now because I already had the picture in my mind. So as I, as I started working and practicing, the only thing that I wanted was progress. I didn't want to be stagnant. I hated being stagnant. I hated being being demotivated by people and all the people that that bringing negative energy to you. So I had to like cut everything and be focused on where I want to go to. That was my 2019, 2018, where I had to like work for other people and to serve them as that was like my business and grow my understanding and my my platform as a barber. 2019 was the year where I decided to open up my own shop. I doubted myself, I won't lie, but my doubts weren't bigger than my motivation because my mindset was already placed on where I see myself, where I see myself and where I'm heading to. So for me, the challenging part, I was excited about it, I wanted to do this, and nothing was gonna stop me. So what I first had to do, I had to, to grind every day, long hours, from seven till nine, sometimes 11. Nobody seen this. Nobody know my sacrifices that I had to make. Nobody applaud me or tap me on the shoulder. That's the, that's the things that I had to do on my own. Be my own motivation and encourage myself to wake up every morning, go to the shop, clean my clippers, buy me new equipment. That's all that I had to do on my own. So I had to, my mindset is always in investing. Because without investing, you can't 
value, lift up your value as a person, as a barber, because if you don't invest in yourself in your business, how are you gonna grow? So I decided to open up, opening up my own shop, and here I am, still growing, still doing moves for this 2020. I wanna be showcasing my work as an artist, as a creator. The reason why I'm doing this is for me as an individual struggling with the techniques that I had back in the day, I want to showcase all the different techniques and get into detail and give them a better understanding of what and how they can do it. So, for all the young boys that feel like this is the end, dropping out of school, that you feel like there's nothing to do, you can take this and really make something good out of it. For all the boys that are in the street, you can watch this and be encouraged through what I do and be motivated and take this really serious because if I can, I believe any person can. Doesn't matter where and what you are in the position. If you put your mind to it, you're able to do it. No days off. So despite the barbering tutorials, I'm gonna do vlogging where I'm gonna invite you guys to the different things that I've planned for the 2020 where I want to show you guys that better me as a person, as a barber, all the things that I do in my, in my free time, in my extra time, that can really be of motivation to any person. So, I want you guys to be a part